Hi, Maja. Hi, Philip. So, could you represent yourself just in a few words? Yes, my name is uh, Mattia. I come from DHH. DHH is a uh, technology provider, a cloud provider, a hosting provider, and also a data center network and uh, infrastructure provider. Uh, as we saw yesterday in your presentation, you like investing in companies, acquiring them and helping them. And uh, what is like your like vision or in, in Africa, for example, you, let's say, see here, not in one year, in like five years. So you like investing here in events, in uh, participating, participating like yourself in like talking to people for like, what is your ideal future here in five years, like for you? Yes, uh, well, we are a company uh, that is actually present in uh, in southeastern Europe. So let's say we started up or we uh, started from the emerging markets. And uh, today we are actually looking for markets outside uh, of Europe. So we were actually looking for an entry point or a doorway to, to Africa. And we found, found it through uh, Africa Data Center and Cloud Days event. And um, now, let's say, we are starting uh, to explore options also in Africa. Uh, let's say our ideal situation in the next five years is that we find uh, interesting people, interesting entrepreneurs uh, in South Africa and maybe also uh, in, in Central Africa and uh, try to expand our group to join with them and to, to create something bigger and better than uh, we have today. As, as I talk to many companies like in Europe and like in Africa, uh, so more three, five years ago, they start talking about like CAC, uh, cost acquisition cost, like was two, 300 euros per customer. And like now we are talking to guys from US, they buy, they're selling domains for $60. So it means like to sell domains for, for $10, it costs for them $60. And in Africa, when I talk to people, they still, usually if it's not South Africa, usually they do not calculate how much cost user and uh, their customer acquisition cost is here much smaller. And it's here, it's much cheaper to get the customer. So you said that you're going to emerging marketing, emerging markets, just, uh, I think here, opportunity for hosting companies is much bigger than in Europe, yeah? Uh, yes, also I think uh, this is the case. I mean, currently today, uh, the companies that are uh, present in Africa, they are not big, big let's say, domestic companies. Uh, but with uh, in the next few years, when the market will develop, when e-commerce will develop, when uh, cloud platforms will develop, um, digitalization will become a much more uh, important factor. And uh, I think also, let's say, the, uh, the opportunities for us as uh, acquirers and uh, also for other companies in the cloud and hosting segment will become much much bigger and much more important so so yes it's important to be here in the beginning and uh, try to to support local entre entrepreneurs now because for sure this market will grow yeah, just an ideal scenario for example you find a company let's say in kenya who has let's say 3,000 customers and would like to expand you acquire the company train it or like i don't know make part of your group and scale its, grow, its uh, company like mu much faster as we talked yesterday. So like this is like some ideal scenario for you. Uh, yes, um, well, um, our approach is a bit different uh, because we do not make assumptions about the market and say, okay, we've done this in the Western Europe, in the Eastern Europe, now we will just transfer the same logic to Africa and see, uh, and uh, we will uh, for sure have success. But the idea is actually to work with the, well, with the local entrepreneurs and see what works and what doesn't work and to provide our knowledge, our experience, our skills, and then let them choose uh, the, the things they need and to expand in their market, whether it's uh, something as basic as financing uh, or uh, to more advanced stuff like uh, digital marketing or, or infrastructure or stuff like this. But it's up to them uh, to, to choose what they think will work and it's up to them to be successful with our support. How do you value the idea of this event on the future of this event? Just Is it like necessary for Africa or it's... I think it's critical for Africa because, uh, let's say, um, this is, uh, let's say, it's a beginning. We see it as a gateway to Africa because it's not easy to uh, to, to open a relationship with uh, with companies uh, in Africa, to find them, to, uh, to talk to them. And I think that uh, an event like this is critical because it can gather uh, people not only from North, North Africa, but also from other parts in one place. So let's say we can discuss, we can brainstorm, exchange uh, ideas, uh, get a feel of who does what and make something better. 
Yeah, for me also, I think we need to collect here people from south part of Africa, from Central Africa, and from like from like faraway countries like Union, like Comoros, like you know Madagascar, Malawi, so well, Uganda. So people come here just to exchange experience and uh, and of course uh, to attract here government organizations because uh, sometimes like not sometimes but very often government organizations have no idea about the people problems and about what how people how other countries do do and the um, yeah if you would like something to add um yeah i mean uh, i think that um, that uh, let's say this event is uh, is a very good uh, let's say starting point uh, for everything that we will do in the future because no matter if uh, we're talking about uh, let's say vendors presenting their products for us uh, that are investing in companies for uh, for entrepreneurs to come here to learn and to to to, to meet with us and with the, uh, with the vendors i think this uh, this conference is uh, is a critical point uh, on this path so let's say i would encourage everybody to uh, to uh, listen and to to wait for the next year announcement and Join us. Okay, so see you here in the next year. Thank you, Philip.